Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Tiger Belly is going live and we have two beautiful dates. We're going to be August 26th, ACL Live at the Moody Theater. Woo! Moody. And then we're going to be August 31st, the Moore Theater in Seattle, Washington. Moore. Yeah, Moore Theater. <laughs> what? Moore. Moore. And you, we want more. Hey, Bobby, you have really cool friends in Austin. Do you think they might show up to the show? They're going to all come. If you don't come, don't ever mess with me again. <laughs> I love that statement. All right, so you better come or there's going to be voodoo. Voodoo. Hey, Kalila, yeah. where can we get these tickets? You guys go get your tickets at TigerBellyLive.com. And, yeah, we'll see you there. Bye. Bye. I can't complain. I'm asking about it. Oh, that's the one with the lemon? Lemon, yeah. Oh, that's actually Shaky a pretty good one. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Just that's stop get... serving them. <laughs> 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 I don't know if on the mic, but <laughs> Why would you guys do that? Is that a setup? <laughs> I got a movie coming up. When does this air? You can't. Let me ask, because I was talking to him. Sag. Sag is strike. We have a waiver. We are allowed to promote it. Nice. Because it's an independent film. So Sag is going against Sag Films. We're independent. We are allowed to talk about it. Hmm. We go. just got the waiver. Uh, okay. I can call Chris Spencer right now, the director. Chris Spencer directed it? Yeah. It's call, first you, I wouldn't even call him. Wait, wait till, no, wait, when, wait when till we're on the line. When we're on the That'll line. That'll be great. When we're doing <laughs> yeah. it. No, because we weren't allowed to promote it. And all of a sudden they said, he said, no, we got a waiver. That's why I was allowed all to right, make right, a post we'll on it. Okay, Instagram. We'll talk about it when we do it, okay? Do you use a headphone or no? No. I do it. <laughs> I do what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's just life. Hello, my name is Bobby. We, we, Bobby, we, and I am in Tiger Belly Planet. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. What the fuck are you doing? I was trying to make an entrance. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I know, but, but obviously, yeah, yeah, but, obviously. but I have to do my intro. Introduce. We, me. I don't know. We can cut. Oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing that? All right, let's start up from the dust. Five, four, I don't, three, I don't three, like the three. alien thing anyway, right? Okay. Five, yeah. four, three. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the rodeo of my life. Anyway, hey, hey, y'all. We, got, we have a new, we have a new, we have a guy here. I am a, you guys, we have a guy. You know when I started to stand up in the 90s? I'm sorry. He fucked up. You know, in the 90s when I started doing stand-up, the, one of the... <laughs> no, I will! I have to give you an intro first! All right, so in the 90s... When I, started... <laughs> I know, in the 90s when I started, in 1985, I started doing open mics at the comedy store. Remember I told you, right? Right. right. And, you know, a lot of the people, like locals and stuff... <laughs> Holy shit, dude! <laughs> It started to hurt my back. So long. <laughs> <laughs> Just say my fucking name, and you could have did that whole intro. They just, just start. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Just stay What's down. Just right. stay down there. Really want to stay down there, Papa. Just stay down there, dude. All right. Down, 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 down. Welcome to. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. My name is Bobby Little Boop 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 Boop. And well, anyway, this guy, I met him at Open Mic in the 90s, and he was one of the first guys I ever met, Gary Owens. Bob! All that for that. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what an entrance. It, it was a failure. The buildup was great. Yeah, it, it failed. It failed. Oh, fuck, man. So anyway, I met him back then, and, um, and I, I don't know why, but we, we don't hang out as much as I desired. <laughs> and then when, when, I, <laughs> and when I found out he was coming... He was walking up the driveway of my house, and he did something that really offended me. What? He grabbed his, he protected his chest and his penis. Oh, that's a great move. Yeah, it's that's a good move, but like, why did it's you do Bob, because that? uh, that's what you usually do. You do you what? titty twister, I, I, and you that, grab people's balls, <laughs> and I'm going, dude. No, I classic, don't. Classic, classic. I said I changed. 
But here's the thing. I knew you before you did that. And then I knew you in the midst of your addiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now yeah. you're All right, now right. Now now I'm, now I'm sober. better. I'm sober from it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. What did man. we need? Uh 97. 97. Mm-hmm. That was a long time ago. Were well, you, you were already doing stand-up. What were you doing? I was in the Navy, and then I used to go to the comedy <laughs> store. <laughs> what were you doing, oh, yeah. Navy? Well, I used to go to the comedy store and like and they didn't know me, so I'd go and like sit in the back. And yeah, then yeah. Bobby would have, he had this hair that stood straight up. Yeah, yeah. He wore overalls with no shirt. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> we were just talking about that. The other I day. was just talking about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down, down, down. Consistently. Down, down, I was like, down, down. And I'd be like, oh, and I, I remember some of his jokes because, you know, in the beginning, you're very robotic. Uh oh. So, you know, because you don't have a lot of time. I don't have nothing. So Bobby would always be like, Bobby, I remember the one <laughs> about getting high. He'd be like, yeah, we. Guys get high, your your eyes get squinty. He goes, and I go blind and shit. <laughs> like, I can't look and see. I can't look and see, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A funny joke. Then you hooked me up with some girl you went to high school with. I did? Night. Yeah. Yeah, who? Wow, wingman. I don't know. Yeah, no, no, no. Did you do it? Okay. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. You, I, you know, can I just say that? You've never gotten me in nothing. Huh? No pussy either. Okay, I got a question to ask. Okay, go. <laughs> so we used to go to Denny's mm. and write in Pacific Beach late yeah, at night yeah, yeah, after yeah, the yeah, shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there'd be like four or five of us, and we'd be all right and run jokes by each other. And then Bobby, then Pauly Shore came down to the comedy store in La Jolla, and Mitzi came with them. And then they go, hey, we're going to have you open up for Pauly in Vegas. Oh, right, right, right. And he was like the first of our open mic guys to get a road gig. So we were like, <laughs> dude, yeah, we yeah. were like all weekend. We was like, holy fuck, right now Bobby's in Vegas, man. We're like, <laughs> What's he doing, right? Yeah. He comes back Monday, and this, this motherfucker's holding court. All right. He goes, so I went up. I killed. I killed. Him. I did. I fucking killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Missy said, I'm going to bring you up. You're going to become a paid regular in L.A. I might have to make the move. And then you proceed to tell us that after the show, you took two girls back to your room, and then you said the cleaning ladies found you the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I tell you, amongst those open micers, yeah. the first week we believed them, and then we went, is this fucker lying? Is that a true story? What is the truth? Be honest. Come on. Did they hog tie you for real? It never you? happened. Oh, you Wow. Fire. I knew it. The myths. Fucking really? They were, they were guys. I I, all my stories are lies. So hang, hang on, hang on. The story But I did was, go to Vegas, because you this, can't refute that. I know, but I the receipt. there were two girls, and they... Um, Went back to your hotel. I think with I you. think this is what happened. Okay. Let's let's get real. With, thank let's you get for to the bottom. Yeah. Up. Thank you for bringing it up. Let's bring it to the. Let's get to the bottom of it. Okay. What's the original story you told? This is what happened. Okay. I had waitresses at the La Jolla Comedy Store putting their stuff in my room. In Vegas. Yeah, because they wanted to come up, but they could they had couldn't afford a room, so like we're just not gonna sleep, and we're just gonna put our shit in your room, right? Okay. Like boots. Yeah. Like they only came because you were there, right? Right. Okay. Got it. And then you can shoot my room. You don't have to raise your voice. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell the story. <laughs> I remember you now. I, re I never liked you. I remember. <laughs> That's why we never do. We never fuck with each other, bro. That's why, bro. But anyway, so they, they came down. <laughs> and, and they, um, so then I met these two girls at Polly's after party. That's what you told us. Right. Okay. So I go, come to my room. And they, they came to my room. And I, it was, I think this is what happened. Some, one of the girls, like, maybe I was talking to one girl, and but one of the girls stole some shit from the waitress's bags, oh. right? Mm. And then they took, they, they go, we're not gonna fuck you, and they left, right? Mm -hmm. I've gotten that a lot. Mm. We're not gonna fuck you. Oh, wow. Right. But that was it. That's basically That's what happened. So when I was like coming back, I was like, what do I tell Gary and the guys? Hog tie. Hog tie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hog tie. <laughs> yeah, you got to embellish stories. He, because... You said, this is the video I had. <laughs> yeah, tied other... up yeah, yeah, yeah. ropes yeah, yeah. and just can't get out. Yeah, yeah. And the, the clean lady comes in and yeah, yeah. Un untied you and you were free. Yeah, yeah. That's not, yeah. That didn't happen. Didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But did you believe it? We did. Bobby, we're like 22, I know. I know. We're and I'm a, like, I'm a master liar. We're just, we're, we're, I mean, we're just sitting there with our omelet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Tied you up? Yeah. Tied him up. But can I say something about you is when I, when you started doing open mics, you were just, you could just tell right away you were like so fucking funny. There was something different about you. Yeah? What do you mean, yeah? <laughs> I mean, I knew You don't it. like compliments? I knew it. Whoa, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I knew it. And then, and then what you happened? Remember, I got, I got banned. Do you know how the comedy store in La Jolla all happened? Wait, 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 wait. 
You got banned from the La Jolla Comedy Store? Before you got to know me, I was banned. For oh. what? So what I did, okay, I okay. went up probably seven, eight months before I actually started becoming an open mic on Sundays with, with everybody. Right, right, right. So I went up on a Sunday. I don't know if you were there that night. And um, I was the last one on. And I got on stage and I only had like five minutes of material. Mm. And there was like, you know, 10 people in the audience. But there was like... 15 of you comics in the back. And mm-hmm. I just said you because I don't know if you're there or not. I probably wasn't. But I do remember there was the one guy was Zoo Man. Remember Zoo Man? Oh, my God. Bro, bro. What's his I name? I won't say anything. What's his name? I won't say anything. Do you anything. remember his name, though? Um, I think. Chris? Yeah. Clobber. Yeah. Okay. He was in. I know he was there because I remember his set that night. Yeah. And there was a couple girls. And I became cool with them later. But it is what it is. So, anyways, they were, like, half heckling me. Half doing the whole couldn't get through a, a a joke and it's like ha you know how it is oh, I'm my. all flustered I'm like I can't get through anything first time ever being, they weren't being supportive right can I just let me before you get, get can I get can, can I say something I felt the same way the first time you went there like I the felt time. the environment right back then in the 90s in San Diego wasn't supportive. Specifically well, for those people? No, us young guys, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But from the dudes that had been doing it for a long oh, time. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. I, mean? I see that. I felt like there was no, like, welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was more like, why are you doing it? Yeah, because I noticed nobody, like, talked to me that night. Yeah. I was like, I was like, hey, because, you know, I'm all excited. I'm thinking mm-hmm. everybody gets along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, this, what's going on, man? Yeah. I'm Gary. I'm a comic. Yeah. You know? So. <laughs> <laughs> it's Gary. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a comic. I'm a comic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I, I went up. And um, I didn't get, I mean, I probably got through a couple minutes, and I, I had a beer in my hand. Yeah. And I said, hey, all you comics in the back. I go, I'm 20 years old. I've been drinking in here all night. Why don't I call the cops and shut this motherfucker down? <laughs> and when I say yeah. the lights went off, yeah. somebody picked me up. They had the Mexican guy and Fred with the Yo, crutches. It, oh, so, oh, oh, Fred Burns. Fred Burns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they threw me out. And then I just remember Fred, like, I literally was on the ground. Like, yeah. he threw me out, and I kind of fell a little bit. Yeah, and yeah. And Fred's with his crutches came in. He goes, don't ever come back! <laughs> really? Like, really? Yeah, fuck? yeah. So I remember I dusted myself. He died out. on a boat. Huh? He did? He died on a boat. Do Shut up, what? Fred. Yeah. What, about, what happened to the Latino dude, the Mexican guy that was always with He's him? Frank Manzano. Frank. Love him. He's somewhere around. I don't know where he is. Oh, really? Yeah, but Ron died. Do you remember the skinny Ron? There was a guy, a guy named Ron. He was a gen. It's uh, the you know uh, what do you call it? Not general. Like uh, what's the second manager? Mm. Assistant manager. I know if I see the face. <laughs> I know if I see the face. Yeah. yeah anyway, so, but anyways, I, I, so I got I got basically I was banned, and that's why I started doing all the 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 black rooms around San Diego because I couldn't get up at the comedy store. I didn't know where else to go. Ah, uh, so, so I had like two of my navy buddies in the audience that night. Yeah, and it was two black guys. Yeah. And then we came back to the ship the next day, and they was, we was all making fun of me, like, damn. He goes, and then one guy goes, man, you, you can talk shit, though, Gary. You can talk shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like this, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they would tell me, like, all the places to go, all the quote-unquote hood spots. Yeah. Southeast. Mm. And then El Torito's Wednesday night was karaoke. Yeah. I would go up on the karaoke bars. <laughs> wow. I wouldn't tell jokes with it. And then, and then about six, seven months later, I went back to the comedy store because I was kind of I, I, I found my voice, so to speak. Mm. And I literally just swallowed my ego and went to Fred and said, hey, man, I know I was here. I'm 21 now. <laughs> and I was like, so yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I apologize. Yeah. And I told him the whole story. And then I go, so he goes, all right, I'll put you up this Sunday and we'll see what you got. Oh. And then I went up that Sunday and he was in the back and I walked by. He goes, funny shit, Gary. You can start coming now. Oh. And that's how I got Don't back in. Don't you love in. that? Don't you yeah. love that? Yeah. That's how I got back he in. He died. Wait, how did he die on a boat? He was on a, he, I guess he was on a cruise with his parents. Uh huh. And, you know, one morning he just didn't wake up. Oh, okay. Oh. I thought it was like a boating act. That's what I did. I could, you made it sound up. like. You want yeah. me to make something up? Tragic. Yeah. He was yeah, in yeah. North Korea. Tied. North he, Korea. Get, he grabbed a couple girls and they tied him up. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no one found him. <laughs> but you know what was cool about you, Gary, is, is that, you know, you and I took different roads. <laughs> Completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just went, you know, different roads. I, but I've always been like with binoculars. Looking at you. Same here. Right? Same. Because you know what it is? We're in the same frat. We're in the same frat. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. like we went to college together. Yeah. And we went to frat, and then we went on with our lives, because there's there's nothing like those. You got a weird bond with the people you open mic with. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it seems like you had a lot of beef with people from San Diego. Never him, though. 
Yeah, I don't but like, I didn't either. was there just like a split? Like, was there this club and then that club? Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no, I just, he, I'm like Trump in the way that it's like, if you like me. Like Zoo Man, say for instance. Uh oh, uh, you want to bring stuff up? Oh, yeah, go ahead. No, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> like yeah, Zoo Man. What no, about I'm Zoo Man? I'm just saying, I don't, I never really got personal with Zoo Man. I don't know him like that. It was just, I remember he was there. I that just like, night. if you don't, was, if you're not, like, uh, here's my thing, and, and maybe this is, uh, maybe I'm different now. Is this him? Is that Zoo Man? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. He's so funny. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. So we would watch him. Look at the lineup like, and be like this. Yeah. Fuck, I got this. Uh, we'd be like, that sounds just like an elephant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. a bird. Wait, that's a bird, right? That's wait, a... that's why he was called Zoo Man? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he, he made, made animals. Animals. Oh. 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 We're like, oh my God, it's a parakeet or whatever. No, literally, like, that was felt like he was at the zoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That He did, yeah. He would do camel noises. He just does animal impressions? Well, he would have jokes. He'd joke. He would joke to it. You know what I mean? Segue into yeah, an yeah, impression. Yeah. yeah, like pussy sounds like camel coughing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. You know what I mean? And we were like, oh, yeah, pussy does sound like that. <laughs> now, do you remember? I think, okay, so you, you got to LA before. I think you were the first one out of our frat to get to LA. Yeah. And then. That's when the dark all, years happened. We all came a couple years ago. But I remember the night before you were auditioning for Mad TV. You had me in the back of the uh, uh, comedy story, like, dude, I'm so fucking nervous, man. Yeah, I'm so I, I, nervous. I'll tell you, I know that's true because the guy that uh, it was Guy Tory. Mm -hmm. I was yeah, Fat Tuesday. Yeah, yeah it was a Fat night, Tuesday. You know? That's how I know. Guy Tory and you were at Fat Tuesday, uh -huh. and and like at the time, like the regulars at the store, you know, I didn't have like that close friends. With, yeah. It was so sort of competitive. Yeah. But I knew that I could come to you and Guy because Guy's such a nice guy. Right. And it just vent and I was so nervous. Yeah. And you got Guy really, the, Guy taught me how to get the show the next yeah. day. You know what he said? What? He's like, hey, when you fuck a new, new girl, I don't know why that's always fucking, but <laughs> because when you fuck a new girl, right, you show her all your moves. You know what I mean? How about that? You know, you know how you, you know, ten years oh. down the road when you're having sex with somebody, it's just like missionary. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. You don't just care. Trying to finish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he was like, saying, show you, show them all your muscles, yeah. <laughs> right? Your comedy muscles. But I remember seeing Gary and, and Guy then, and that it really helped me. Yeah. Yeah. And you got the part. Yeah. Yeah, you got the part. Yeah, yeah. And then you became great friends with Aries. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Do you fuck with Aries? Yeah, I, I don't really have a lot of beef with. A lot of com for one, I'm not around comics a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then so it's, I don't have a lot of beef with a lot of people. Yeah, I don't. I, I've never hear, heard any beef with you with anybody. Uh uh. Why? Well, I mean, You're not a beef well, guy. I leave people alone. <laughs> I, it's like even when you got shows with people, I just kind of I go to my dressing room, I tell my jokes, and I go home. Yeah. I don't really. But it's fu it's it's like you though have been so successful in your career, like movies and. You know, you have a huge audience and this and that. We just took two different roads to get there, and I, I find that to be cool and interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, I mean, I don't know how to say this without seeming racist. Not racist. You know, I don't want to do racist. it. No, but you know, you went the black route. Is that, how do you say? Duh. It? <laughs> it's the black route. That's what it is. What other way would you say that? <laughs> Yeah, I, it was, yeah, I thought it was um, because you're so universally funny. Well, you got to realize. I was getting on stage at all. Like, I was at the comedy store once a week. Mm. But, you know, I was doing the black stuff in San Diego four nights out of the week. Yeah, I, I did Mexican rooms, too. I'm, yeah, but like, I'm going, going hola, but no, hola. But no, but that, when I won that, <laughs> remember Z90, the hip-hop station in yeah, San Diego? Yeah, yeah, well, I, They had that funniest black comedian contest, and I won it. Ah, <laughs> that's right. Right. That got me the audition for Comic View, and that's what got me to L.A. the first time. Wow. And then I got on the show, and I was still in the Navy. Yeah. And... On BET at the same time. What That's the crazy. And then, so then I end up getting out, moving up here full time, got the hosting job. So, the you know, my my first exposure was on BET, and it's for the internet. Only thing black people had, because Def Comedy Jam went away, was Comic View. And I'm the one of the few white guys on there. It was Dante. Oh, he kind of oh, went away. Don't bring, up, don't bring up Dante right now, bro. Why? Don't bring up no Dante. Everybody I bring up. Don't bring Everybody up. Bring up. Like, don't yo, 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 don't bring up no Dante around here, dog. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now, dude. Yeah, What's the story? He burned a bridge with me, baby. How? What happened? With Dante? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? I don't want to even give him the fucking promotion to even talk about him. Are the oh, other... I'll talk. I'll say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll say it. You love this. I shit. love it. I don't care what you. I say. love fires. You always go like this. I don't want beef. All right. I'll talk about it. <laughs> 
every time. I know, I know, I know. All right. Okay. You're like one of them serial killers in the movie. Like, no, no, you're not paying him enough. All right, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Hold on. You got it. You got I gotta, it. No, I got to You got adjust, it. Adjust, and I'm, I'm going to get it. Am I talking shit? No, no, no. We're I just reminiscing. Am I bad guy? Am I bad guy? I'm reminiscing. I want to know the story. Look We're like. reminiscing about people nobody's heard of. <laughs> <laughs> That's talking shit. That's so awful. Oh, man. by the way, okay, I want to say that. Okay, no, kidding. Let's just go back. So Dante, right, is a. F I, I love him. It, I, you no. always. <laughs> Why do you start with no, that? No, 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 no. I, I really like no, him. I like him. I no, no, no. No, there was so much love in the beginning. Because Dante was a San Diego. He lived in San Diego, too. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yeah. He's also much like you. White dude. Could play all the rooms. And he was one of those guys that I would watch. And I'd be like, wow, dude. Like, that guy's so funny back then. Yeah. Still probably today. Yeah. So he, then he became like, I want to be a director. Do you oh, really? oh my god, I know this story. The, duh. I don't know this. Duh. Story. Yeah. I don't know this story. I, I'm gonna tell you the story. I want to hear so it. So he goes, I'm you know, so he calls me and he goes, Yo, I want I'm doing a movie. I got how much is it? A dollar. Shut up. I, you know, but low. Oh, it's okay. an independent. I you movie. really said it. No, but it was, was just like, like he was just like, you know, it's basically for free. It wasn't like a lot of money. And he goes, dude, check it out. You'll be there for two hours, right? I'll get you in and out, right? No, it's and you can improvise your lines. I just need you in the movie. Do me a favor. He goes, Jamie Kennedy's doing it. He has like a couple of lines. He's like, if Jamie's doing it, I'm going to help Dante out. I'll do it, right? What year is this? God damn, 20 years or 15 years ago. Oh, damn. Yeah. Um, no, maybe like, the movie's called Bro, What Happened? Love it. To the Look movie? Look it up. That's the name of the movie? Yeah, or? but don't, don't show the poster until I finish the story, though. All right. All right. <laughs> so I'm there for like a couple. You see the poster? Yeah. All right, so I'm there for a couple hours, right? <laughs> and I, I don't even sign anything. I go, all right, I'll see you, right? Next thing I know, I, it was Chelsea Peretti calls me. You know I'm Chelsea Peretti? Jordan Peele's wife. Okay. She, big comic. And she goes, bro, what happened? That's her opening line. How many lines did you have in the movie? Maybe four or five lines. Okay. I go, what do you mean? Like, I don't even know what you're talking about. She's like, you're in a movie called Bro, What Happened? And I go, what? I had two lines. And then she sends me the poster. Show the poster. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are you the co-star? <laughs> I was there for three hours. You're a man. And they guy. used... You look at center of the poster. Yeah, they used... Your right? name is middle. They used my two lines to capitalize on it. That's a great poster, though. I, I didn't get money for that movie. Nothing. I don't was, think the... Yeah, I the can't imagine. Money? Yeah, it made any money. And my point, though, no, even when you before you even do it, yeah. it was just like a favor, and I just felt like it was a lie, and he used me. Yeah, mm. right? absolutely, hundred percent. Did yeah. you call him on it? What? Did you call him on it? Yeah, we, we, me, and him talked at a Starbucks, and it, it didn't go well. Did what was the conversation like? like fuck you, man! What the fuck? That was me. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and then um, <laughs> it was okay. so funny. Your voice. I sound like you're doing a it's, different it, kind of voice. It doesn't matter what you say. It's just you go from like, it's literally, Bobby, you're like zero to 100. You're like, All right, yeah. I'll so go. I didn't go. It's like, fuck you, man. Fuck you. And then we, I had an oat milk latte because I'm like, yeah. Joseph Calera, and then he also yeah, said, yeah, oh, yeah. fuck you. Fuck you, man. Yeah, yeah. It was like kind of like a that. Croissant. And then, um, and then that's the last time I talked to him. And then I think he tried to apologize a couple of times. I just didn't. I was just so livid about it that like, yeah, okay. take it down, take it down. I'm more. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here's my thing, Bob. Yeah, yeah. I'm more um, diplomatic mm. in in the entertainment business because I know yeah. we all struggle at some point. Yeah. So I mean, this might have been his hail mary. You're and right. He, and you know what I mean. At that point, we'll get Dante. Write Dante's down. We'll get him down. I mean, we'll get him on the podcast. Let, let's be honest. <laughs> a fucking rent slate. What's a rent slate? You ain't make your rent slate. You ain't making no money. This is this is all you got, and you're like. Fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for forgiveness instead of permission. I'm gonna put Bobby on the poster and let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying it was right, but I'm saying when you're struggling, oh, Mr. Positivity over here. Uh, all right. What the fuck happened to you? Uh, all right, Bob. But I think that at this time it could have been a huge detriment to your career because th things weren't going well at the time. That's for why. you. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I was at the downward spiral of my life. Oh, okay. It was like that. No, it's <laughs> oh, fuck him. Fuck that. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, bro. no, you're right. You're right. Bro, what happened? Hey, look. Bro, what happened? <laughs> bro. Bro, what happened? <laughs> bro, what happened? No, you're right. So, you know, I, I could have handled it differently. 
Yeah. A lot of these things, you know, a lot of my little beefs, you know what I mean? I'm the king of beef. Yeah. Um, but all your, but all your beefs are manageable. I, I know. None of like, them are like, <laughs> I know. fuck Bobby, he's blacklisted. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. never going to spot. All your beefs, they come on here. I, exactly. This, this is, this yeah, yeah. This Aries. Is, I, I'm telling you, man, this is like Dr. Phil. <laughs> it's an yeah. Asian version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Dr. Phil, yeah. yeah. Why'd you move to Houston? A girl. Oh, good reason. I got divorced. What do you mean? I got divorced a few years ago. Yeah. You have children with her? With my wife? Ex-wife? Yeah. Yeah, we got we had two why, kids. Why, why are you why are you doing this? I thought you followed me from afar. And you I don't did, have children? Yeah, I didn't see binoculars. the kids in the binoculars. I knew you two broke up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I then why do you why apart. do you look like Troy Aikman if he was in a microwave? I get that a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get I get a mix. I get I get Troy Aikman, yeah, yeah. Biff from Back to the Future, yeah. and <laughs> Tommy from Power. Yeah, you just, those are three. Yeah, ideas. you have a yeah, yeah, a thing going on. I do. Yeah. You like it? <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good like thing. This, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you have two kids from your previous marriage. Yeah. And then you guys moved to Houston. No, no, no they, they divorced. I got divorced a couple of years ago, and, and I then. moved to Houston. I, I mean, the real reason I was moving, anyways, like I was, we were living in uh, the Bay Area, and I was like, we, I, we had to avoid, a, I had to avoid a process server for about five months. Mm-hmm. So we had, we had two residences. We had one in Ohio, one in California. Uh, so I filed in Ohio. And then she avoided the process server and filed in California. Wow. So, we, I mean, we was on the run. Her and me. It was it was <laughs> cat and mouse game. Do you guys have a relationship now? You were cordial. Good. You know, yeah, she, I, she got served. And yeah, yeah. then, uh, so divorce happened in Ohio, mm. which is way better. Okay. For, for me. But yeah. I mean, just that's what it that's is. That's where you're from, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's where we live, though. That's where we voted. That's where we paid taxes. Yeah. Right. That, there wasn't like a secret agenda when I filed for divorce. I was like, no, I got to do what's legal. And yeah. we legally live in Ohio. And then we did, but even though we had a house in California, but when we built the house in California, I literally asked my accountant and everybody said, we can still have an Ohio residency, right? Because I didn't want to pay California taxes. Right, uh, I didn't want right. to go through all that shit. So I was like, they said, yeah, yeah, you're a comedian. As long as you stay half the time in Ohio, half the time in California, you're fine. Wow. And I'm always on the yeah. road. So yeah. I would split my time. So yeah. wow, yeah. and then you then you moved to Houston. No state taxes in Texas. No, no tax, state taxes. Why do you yeah. go to Austin like everyone else? Well, they don't have a hub. I travel every week, so I, uh, I uh, Dallas or Houston yeah. has the two hubs, so I can yeah. get anywhere yeah. direct. You know what I mean? You're just constantly on the road. Yeah, you like it? I mean, it's it's getting to be a little more. Now I'm I'm at a place at least I can pick and choose where I want to go. Yeah, like I don't have to go to Fort Wayne, Indiana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. have to go to Des Moines for four days. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, it, it, for all my life, that's all I remember is being in some weird city, you know what I mean, on a weekend. It's so depressing. Is it? To me, it was. Was it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because to me, it was like, because when you're like 10, 15 years in, and then you're in, like, I love El Paso. You know what I mean? Do you? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> of all cities, I you're love the first El- person. <laughs> Of all the cities, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love. You know, and it was funny you say that. Yeah. That was my first ever road gig at a comedy club, and I drove Bar- from Bart San Reed. Diego. Bart Reed. I drove from San Diego to El Paso. Yeah. Now you remember David Arnold, right? I lo- oh. No. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, let me just say something about him. <laughs> I love him. Yeah, he was a good guy. I miss him so much. Yeah. What a great fucking guy. Um, well, he's one of the reasons I got back into the comedy store. So what happened on the, the six, seven months I was out, I tore my ACL. I had knee surgery. His ex-wife was, uh, was doing my paperwork at Balboa Hospital in San Diego. So she, on her cubicle, she had all these pictures of David up, all these articles. And I go, is your husband a comedian? She goes, I'm a comedian. And then she goes, she, I, go, I go, he's like on the road? She goes, yeah. She gives me his number. I call him. He goes, yo, you got to get a headshot. You got to get a bio. Wow. You got to get a resume. I said, all what right. What year was this? 97. Is wow. Right, right at that six month wow. where I wasn't at the comedy store. So in those six months, I'm doing like little open mics uh, in, in the black rooms. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, you're only getting a couple minutes and you're only dealing with us, uh, black people. Yeah. So your comedy isn't really expanding like it should. Mm. So he calls me, man, I got these headshots. I typed up this fake resume. I remember I said I opened up for Jim Carrey at a cancer uh, charity event. 
you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, you know. So then I I start sending them out. You got to send a VHS tape out with your headshot and your bio, and fucking Bark Reed responded. He and did. Go, no way. Wow. And so he goes, yeah, we want you Thursday through Sunday. We'll give you five hundred bucks for the weekend. No travel. You're staying at the condo with the other two comics. And I was like, all right. <laughs> Got yeah. off work on Thursday. Yeah. At, filled in a, a got off uh, on on got off on Friday. Somehow I got off. I remember I drove to El Paso. Got there right for the show, and I just remember I wasn't making no money. So I remember I bought a, a box of cocoa puffs, and a <laughs> gallon of milk. That was breakfast. Yeah, Arby's had the two beef and cheddar. For yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was lunch. Yeah, and yeah. then I'd eat dinner at the club. Wow. And I was like, so I, I spent less than probably twenty bucks on food. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, you yes. have to do Wait, that. Is that how it worked back then? Is that you would have to submit your resumes to clubs? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It wasn't online. You had to yeah. in a VHS tape. Yeah. Oh, whoa. And a lot of times, I don't think they watch the tape. They probably just read your bio and resume. Yeah, you know, and then hopefully word of mouth. I mean, I had an agent. But in the very beginning, <laughs> I just, you know, that, that worked. I did. Way. I did it that way. But you know, <laughs> but yeah, some people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. CAA, you know, hey, call CAA, hey, you know, well, you can send a tape to get a headshot, you know, all that stuff. I I never did that one. Wow. I just call my Jew, I call the Jews and I go, hey, help me out here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you do, you know. <laughs> no, I did, th I did that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I did all that. Was Vegas your first road gig? That was the Pauly? first, yeah, and I did five minutes. Who else is on that show? Wild Willie Parsons. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> about that. Do you people. remember Wild? Do uh, you know Wild? Look what at Wild Willie Parsons. Him? What beef did you have with him? I, I, no beef. No you, beef. There's no. something. I love Wild Willie. There's something. Oh, yeah. Look up Wild Willie Parsons. Yeah. So Wild Willie Willie was there. <laughs> this oh, wow. this episode should be called Who the Fuck You Talking About? Who are these people? There who is. are these people? There he is. We pulled up Zoom, man. <laughs> yeah, nobody yeah, yeah. What was his shtick? I don't remember. He had a great look. He's got a good look. He's a great, yeah. Look at him with Kinnison. He's just wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. He's old school. He looks like a WWE wrestler. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he still, I hope he's still alive, Wild Willie. I doubt it. Yeah, I loved him, though. I'm just kidding. Wow. Nice guy. He wasn't so nice. <laughs> I don't know. If I just remember him going, hey, man, don't worry about it, kid. Just do the best you can. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, that, that kind of guy. How old were you? Uh, 24. Yes, you were a couple years old. Yeah, I was 23, 24 years old. Yeah. It was like, because I did five minutes, and then, you know, I got off stage, and I didn't know how well it went, but Mitzi came up to me, and she goes, you're a paid regular. Do you know, you know my story with Mitzi, right? No. Why I never became a regular at the comedy I store? Know. Why my name's not on the wall? Why? Uh-oh. So I, I get to L.A., like everybody else, and I did the, the song and dance where you wait in line on whatever day that was for three hours. Sundays, yeah. To try to become a paid, paid regular. Did that a couple but, weeks. But, but to, can I just say this? The system back then was fucked. You haven't let me finish. Okay, let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. It wasn't the wait in line part. All right, go ahead. So they, after a couple weeks, <laughs> it's like, wait, you jump the gun. <laughs> you didn't even get any right. of it. All right, <laughs> all right. Let me just say. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so no, so I get picked. They call me, they go, hey, this whatever Monday, there was five of us going up uh -huh. to try to become pay regulars. And it was four girls and me. And I was fifth. So I'm sitting there, and you know, I'm, I'm ready. And I know I'm ready. Yeah. I go up there, and, I, I, and I'm not trying to be conceited, but I had the best set out of the five of us. Obviously. Right? When I looked in the back, when I got up after the four girls, Mitzi's back there, and she's got the four girls around her talking, just holding court with them. And I'm going, she's not watching me. She's not watching me. So then when I called the next day, like, what happened? Am I a paid regular? They go, no, no, Mitzi said, you're not ready. And I go, hmm. And I said... I'll never go up like that again. And then I started doing Fat Tuesday. And I was it was kind of like my middle finger, like, I don't really need to be at the... You know, that's what I'm talking about, is the system. It's like, because the same thing happened with Louis C.K. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was sitting next to Mitzi when Louis C.K. was auditioning. And she was supposed to do three minutes, 45 seconds to a minute in. She just goes... Light them. Shut up. Yeah. And I turned to her, and this is, and Louis had already done an HBO special. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Jesus Christ. It, it wasn't like, you know what I mean? He was a new guy. He's like a legend already. <laughs> right? This, what year is this? I don't know. Back, I mean, back when. 90s, right? Yeah. And I, I turned to her and I go, 
No, no, Mitzi, Mitzi. <laughs> she had, shut up. She, uh, she, she, what you call? Um, she always thought it was Peter Chin. <laughs> was a, wait, Who's Peter Chen, guy? Peter Chen, Peter Chen. There was another Peter. There was another Asian guy named Peter Chen. Yeah, yeah, I remember Peter Chen. Yeah, you remember Peter Chen? Yeah. Peter Chen was the guy. Is when I first came to the uh, L. A. He came up to me. And goes, the only white Asian around here. I'm the guy. Is that him? Yeah, that's Peter Chen. <laughs> oh my god, I this, forgot about him. Yeah, yeah, episode, yeah, yeah, yeah. This episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, can I just say about Peter Chen? <laughs> Peter Chen would have Peter Chen would have his own heckle lines. You know, you know, you know those hacky heckle lines, like you know, what I mean, you know, what I mean, you know, don't fuck with me while, while I'm working. I don't go to the fucking whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I don't go to McDonald's and knock the fries out of the fryer. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a hacky line. Yeah. Yeah. But Peter Chen goes, I, I come up with my own um, rebuttal. I go. So one night we saw him and he goes, some guy was heckling him. And he goes, Hey, don't talk to me while I do stand up, or I'll put you on a rocket ship. You go right straight to the moon. <laughs> That's the guy. <laughs> Right, and we're that. all back there going, ah! You because it was like, it, you know, it's the opposite of a slam. It doesn't make any sense, you know what I mean? But he would like make up his own heckle lines, you know what I mean? So anyway, um, but that's why I never was a regular. Yeah, you know, they, yeah. I, I think that if you were to do the process now, because it took, you know, Amir K. Who? Amir K. Pull him up, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He pulled. He's, um, you know, he he's my boy, and. For the longest time. So no, I don't know him. Yeah, he's so funny. But for like six years, constantly, I was just like, this is the guy, this is the guy. And he finally got through. Now he's getting spots. It takes a while. And I don't know why it takes so, so much, but Amir is so fucking fun, funny. And you remind me of, Amir reminds me of you, I mean, because you, you guys are just both guys are just so obviously to me, just obviously funny. They should be playing everywhere but that what you described about like going up there and someone just like completely checked out and not listening and doing other things it's the like, worst it was the worst the feeling because i'm up there going she's not you're, you're you're doing your set and you're watching her talk to people and i'm going she's not watching me yeah she's but, not watching but me. it was those girls sabotaging you <laughs> i don't know who. yeah probably yeah. or but also it seemed like a mitzi problem yeah come here i want to talk to you like it was like she was here and they were around her and I was oh. like, oh, she's not watching me at all. Heartbreaking. And then I thought, okay, maybe she's not, you know, in your brain, the conceited part goes, oh, she probably doesn't need to watch me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like she already yeah, knows. I know yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I walked on my left foot. Them girls walked on their right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They said, how you guys yeah, doing? Yeah. I'm like, what up, yeah. motherfucker? I mean, she could hear the laughs. Yeah, yeah, she could yeah, yeah. hear the laughs. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when wow. you would showcase, was there a f crowd or was, was it? Average. I mean, you're, in, you're not in the, the big room. In the original room. original room, yeah, and it, it was a normal weekday, probably half full. You know, they're there. Those original rooms back in the day, it was weird because I'd sit in the back and watch people, but it'd be like the energy be low. But then, once if you would get them, you get them. It's a hard room, though. Yeah, I've had some disasters in that room. I've seen them. It <laughs> I sat in the back. It wasn't just you. I've oh, seen yeah, yeah. nights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen like five comics in a row. Just disaster. Oh, my God. So and then hard. the guy would go up with the balloons. Yeah, yeah. Top Gun shit. Oh, Every yeah. night I would go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don Barris. Yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Like still, every night he's still there. Oh, really? Yeah. I always he thought, closes with the balloons. I always thought, he didn't give a fuck if they're laughing or not. The music's so loud. <laughs> you yeah, can't yeah. hear it anyway. Yeah, it was, it was a Top Gun song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. And then there was a guy named Robert Apravaya. Oh, wait, we'll pull him up, Gil. So, up. so Robert Apravaya, look, pull him up. Like we're at a high school reunion. This is fun. This is fun. So there's this man who was homeless. How do you even spell Robert? He was homeless. He wore a green suit, right? And he would talk to himself. He would talk to himself. And Mitzi, for the last, since probably the eight, early 80s, just let him close the open mic. I, I, I almost was like this. So he, he was a pay rigger? <laughs> yeah, he got passed. Huh. <laughs> did he really? No, he didn't. He didn't. Oh. No, he didn't. I was like this. No, <laughs> no. no. You, you know, it's so funny because... Steve Harvey once, I saw him walk into the uh, comedy store and he spit on the wall and he goes, <laughs> fuck this place. Mm. You know, it's like, I, and I, I, you know, Seinfeld had the same thing. There are just certain people, George Lopez as well, because George Lopez yelled at her. Same thing happened. She was, 
I never was, yelled at her. I know. He did, though. He snapped yeah. during his yeah, showcase. Yeah, yeah. He goes, hey, bitch, I came all the way down. You're not even listening. That sounds like George. Yeah, yeah, hey, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so my point is, is that you're not the only guy. I've seen so many guys go through that process yeah. and just not even get anything. And it's like, I don't understand how that happens. But it's also you have to understand that you're so sensitive around her because at any, any given moment, she could just in her de- mind decide, I don't like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So you have to kind of be in tiptoes around her. You know, did you find Robert William Rapper Via? Is that him? Yep. I don't remember him. He looks incredible. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Looks- I mean, I would cast him in a Wes Anderson movie immediately. I know. But he would show up Simpsons. out of nowhere. Younger. Thin air. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. And he what a would- cool looking dude. He's a scary yeah. looking dude. To me, yeah, he was pretty scary. Green's a great color on him. Yeah, and then they used to fucking bully him. It was really bad. Did they? Wait, was he homeless? Yeah. Oh. I, he was a homeless guy. And he would sleep in that green outfit, I think. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, he looks pretty good. Yeah, he looks good. Yeah. But there was a lot of those, these kind of characters there. You know what I mean? Are you cool Carlos Mencia now? I just want to bring up your whole past. <laughs> 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 we had him on here. We had, I know. I, I we watched it. Yeah, we had. Yeah, we had him on. I here. watched it. But I'm saying that was like I, that was over dude, a year ago. I, I have to say, I just have love for him. He took you on the road, though, right? He, I learned everything from him. I learned everything from him. And he got you a car. I know. I learned everything from him. I was generally asking. I no, I'm being to... re- no, and I'm genuinely answering. This I is the have first a question time. about that, though. Yeah, like, go ahead. Like sincerely from comics is, hasn't it? L- has it not been long enough? Like, he's been in comedy jail for so long. Isn't it time that maybe you just let him out? Like, he was never in my jail. No, he's not in my jail. I know, but you know what I mean. Whose right? jail is he in? Like, the, everybody else. Everyone is. else's jail. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, how much longer does someone need to be? In I was, comedy it, my jail? thing with, with, with that whole situation, did you just fart? Yeah, sorry. Did you just fart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> you heard it from there? I told you. Uh, sorry. Oh, you fart any other guest? All the time. time. Well, you think that's disrespectful? No, I thought it was first. You and I were gay. I thought I was If we were gay. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. That's so serious. Mm -hmm. And we slept on the same bed together. Yeah. I would cover it. And I would trap you in with with the fart, with the shit. He used to do that? Yeah. Mm. But you and and I would giggle like little boys. Did we? (laughs) We would. We would. (laughs) I said, did we? (laughs) Did we? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. We did. Now I know where this love from Carlos is coming yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> he did everything for me. <laughs> yeah, everything. <laughs> Every hole. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. What? He's, he. Um. I think he should. Uh, I think the problem with him is that if he would just apologize and just move on, I and mean, we we're that in was, such a weird age right now. Like, like literally, if you can just own whatever your fuck ups are. Yeah. Right. People. People don't really care. Well, I they, think can they, move, they can move on. I don't, no, because I still read his comments, and people still comment. People, hold on. Let me ask you this. Yeah, go ahead. When you say read comments, because we all, I always think the people that are going in on people, they were people that were never going to come see you anyways live. No, they were never going to pay to see you anyways. Uh, so you're really holding their their opinion a little too strong. Value. Also, Mitzi said to me, and I've said this a million times on this podcast. I'll say it again. It's worth repeating. It's worth a play. You're not a star unless half the people love you and half the people hate you. you know, just, I never had that conversation with her. Yeah, she yeah. was talking to those four bitches. <laughs> I, I know. But she, had, she gave you I a I never had that conversation. <laughs> yeah. Talking to four yeah, bitches yeah. Yeah. we never heard of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But she would give, throw a little bit like, you know what I mean? She would also yeah. say, it is a sin to support mediocrity. Mm. And I asked her, I go, what does that mean? And she goes, well, you know, if you see a comic who's not good, and you say, good job, that's not good. So why does she support those four bitches? <laughs> <laughs> I think she had lost her mind. Like, she started losing some of her faculties. Do you then. remember who they were? And did they ever no. make it? It was were- Chelsea Handler, Whitney Cumming. <laughs> <laughs> Shayma Tosh. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember Shayma? Yeah, I lo- San Diego. I-, I love Shayma. Yeah, she was great. She was great. You know, I lived with her when I first moved to L.A. Shut up. Whoa. Yeah, for like a year. Then she got. She, uh, what's she doing now? I haven't heard her forever. She's in Vegas, right? Is she in, she's Vegas? in Vegas? What's she doing? Well, she was doing shows with the Carrot Top. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I never knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opening for Carrot Top. That's crazy. And then I think she got married. This and that. I mean, one day I would love to have her on. Yeah, she was. Yeah, cool. I mean, she, yeah, was, she was a cool people. girl. Yeah, yeah. And she, she had an edge about her. 
Yeah, there was something edgy about her. And also, uh, I just, she's one of just, she was like us in the sense that she's a part of our Group. class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She, she was part of us going to Denny's and Yeah, yeah, I love Shema. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so unbelievable. Um, are you going to move back to L.A. or no, ever? I doubt. I mean, unless something happened that I had to move back here, but I don't see myself back here. You don't like it? I do like L.A. Yeah. Like, I love the weather. Yeah. You know, ain't nothing Does like he live in L.A.? No, he's in Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia? No, there's another Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta, <laughs> Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. God, dude. What Atlanta? <laughs> Atlantis? I've been to Atlantis. Atlanta, New Hampshire. Oh my God, that's yeah. like one time. It's funny you say that one time. Yeah. He asked me, he goes, What time you land? I go, Three. He goes, O'clock? Like, <laughs> I was like, Dude. But dude, uh, can I just say something in Atlanta? We were just, me and Andrew were just there. I got fined 10 grand. What do you mean? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I got fined 10 grand after the show. You got fined? What happened? $10,000. For why? Because in a theater, you're not allowed to show the audience the inside of your butthole. <laughs> you did that? You didn't used to do that, Bobby. I know. I know. You're taking the whole Mitzi don't support <laughs> mediocrity a little too far. I don't know. Uh, mediocre this, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> No, why because are you showing your asshole. Because it was a surgeon in the audience. What? Okay, I'm so shoot. confused. Bob, you're too talented. When there's a, no, wait, listen, listen to me. Just listen to what I'm saying, Gary. Jesus fucking Christ, man. All right, how smart is this? There's a surgeon in the audience, and what, what, what do we play? Theater, a couple thousand people, right? He's in the middle there, right? And I go, well, you know, gave him a checkup. Check me out. So I spread out my butt. Is there any bombs? This and that. And he goes, no, nah, you're good. On stage. And then I get off stage. And then they were like, yeah, you can't do that. Ten grand. And then I got on my hands and knees. I begged. Please, I'll never show my butthole again. <laughs> and then, they, then they, go, they let it pass. So I didn't have to pay it. Oh. Well, so that's, that's good. Nice. Yeah. yeah. But me and Andrew. Don't, don't do that. Do don't what? Don't do that again. Yeah. Why? Don't be showing your asshole on stage. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, no, honestly, dude. Don't do that. No, no, no. You don't do it. He, I'm not going to do it. He doesn't do it, I don't think. You, you don't do it. it. I'm not. Because I'm telling you, Gary, I do what I do. Don't shoot your ass on stage. Uh, what? I will. I don't, I don't say the N-word. Okay. That's, you, that's a, I don't wait, wait, say the N-word. You've never said the N-word. Nope. On stage? I've never either. Bullshit. Really? <laughs> Bullshit. When did I say it? You had the joke, Arnold. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you had the joke. I did, I did, I did, Can I, I get the premise of that joke? Oh, oh no. What okay, is, no, no. He oh. used to be like my. Oh, okay, all right. I want to hear well, Gary. Don't say the word though. I won't. Because he used to say it, and I'd be, I'd be like cringing in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But did it get a laugh ever or no? It, it got a laugh. But I do remember one time. Okay, oh, I brought I brought a couple of black I women. I can't off. believe you believe that. Remember that joke? What's the joke? I can't remember you believe. Remember like, that no, joke. don't unearth the joke. <laughs> hey, go ahead, tell him. The joke was I don't I'm know if it's his dad or something. He goes, you you you. He's yeah, acting yeah, like his dad. Yeah, goes, my dad. Yeah. You 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 remind me of Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? <laughs> Schwarzenegger. Yeah. And he goes, oh, I don't look like Arnold. So he goes, no, no, Arnold Short from Different Strokes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bad. Is that, no, but I used to say it the second I used part. to say it. That's what. As but my was, dad, though. As his dad. That was my justification. Well, it's my dad saying it. So and, and it really, there's, there's no, <laughs> yeah. here's the thing about yeah, yeah. that word. Yeah, yeah. White people can't say it. I don't know if there's a, a rule that Asians can't. <laughs> I don't know that law. Because, you know, Puerto Ricans say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of Mexicans that say it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know where you stand in this. I know I can't. Can I, 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 as, as a Korean Asian dude? Yeah. I'll speak for my people. Do it. We can't. Really? Yeah, we, we can't. Can, we Your can. women fuck a lot of black guys. Phil wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Say that again. <laughs> your, your women. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Stay, say that again, but slowly. I want to be able to absorb it. Go ahead. Your women fuck a lot of black guys. True. So but there's a I lot say, of mix. And, 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 and let me, what's your name again? I'm sorry. Why are you looking at it? What? Brad. Brad? Brad, let me say something to you. And you talk to whoever you need to be talking to, right? The exchange rate is wrong. What exchange rate? Because they don't fuck us. The Koreans? The black girls. They don't. No. Yeah, so what I'm saying is that we got to, like the strike, 
Our Asian women are going to go on strike. They're going to pick it. They're going to pick it. <laughs> and they're, we're going to rework that not, fucking contract. They're not. They're going to rework We have to rework that Bobby, contract. Bobby. It's like, none of my Asian friends have gotten any b- b- black tail. I will Bobby. say this. Yeah. Like, they, we man, we're working. We're on strike now. They're going to they're gonna cross those picket lines so fast. <laughs> <laughs> there was a Filipino chick when I was in the Navy. Oh, I'll never forget Here that. we go. <laughs> you know, there was there was the, there was the elephant bar on like Tuesday nights up in like it wasn't La Jolla but I don't know where it was but anyways yeah. a lot of military guys went there because it was like dollar beers or something right so I remember this this Filipino chick was just all over me one night and I was like and I never messed with a Filipino chick yeah right? did she have an accent or America no she was straight she came from the from Man- is Manila in the film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Manila. I was so confident. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know about Atlanta. So I was like, <laughs> no, no, she was first generation. Yeah, yeah. And all I remember was we go back to her place and I was like, oh, it's about to pop off. This is crazy. It's so unexpected. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I look and on next to her nightstand, she had a picture of her and this white dude and he had like a <laughs> scuba gear on. I go, who's that? She goes, oh, no, he, husband, he, he gone. And I was like, well, where's he at? The motherfucker was a Navy SEAL. I was like, I'm out. Oh, oh, oh really? Gosh. And she was like, she goes, no, no, he didn't. I said, no, no, that motherfucker can come home at any second. He's probably got some infrared <laughs> shit going on right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't have got out that yeah. motherfucker fast enough. I remember she just said that. She goes, Gary, no, Gary, it's Gary, fine. Gary, it's Gary, fine. Gary, Gary, be honest. You did it. No. Really? I dipped. Wow. I was scared, bro. You, you heard this first. I was death, stationed death, with seals. Right goes Trump's pussy. Navy SEAL. Yeah. yeah. Now, if she was a black girl with a fat ass, I might have stayed. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? It was just she was just so aggressive towards you. It wasn't like I was even trying. So you don't, you don't fuck white girls. Not really. No. No. It's it's it gets. Uh, let me just say something to you, my friend. What is it about white, the white woman that you don't like? I always say it like this. <laughs> it's not I don't like white women. It's just like a li- I like black women. And it's like gay. If you're gay, you know you're gay. You don't know why you're gay. You're just gay. Mm. I like black women. Why do I like guys? I don't know. It's just what I like. I can relate to this. You don't over. We overthink shit I can with t- relationships. We try to f- go all deep. And it's like, my dick gets hard. And I go, this is what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Great. Let's ride. Let's can, ride. That's great. Yeah. I can relate to that. I think that... Um, even though I have dated white guys, my I usually the pussy does not <laughs> react to white guys, so it's thank usually you for that. just. <laughs> 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 all deep, and I go, thank you for that. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> but I get so much, so much shit about this when I say it out loud. Who, yeah. like, what do you prefer? Just brown guys, always Asian, Latino, black anything but white even though i've dated white guys in like the past but i haven't in the last i think 15 years or yeah, see don't overthink it you don't overthink it at all what do you like bobby you know i'll be honest with you well, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> i'll be honest with you i like them all yeah guys I, I, girls I, or just well you know girls. when you, uh, <laughs> no, no, that's interesting that you say that yeah i, I do say it yeah i, I, I know I you said know. it. i fucking heard you say it yeah i want to know and you're gonna know Okay. Let me ask you a question. I will ask the answer the question, motherfucker. Do it. All right. Do you think I'm gay? Uh, Why'd you get up like that? I think you've touched a dick. And we'll be we'll be back after this. (laughs) 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 Uh, I will say I think you you did uh, quote unquote Hollywood. Mm. I think you came Whoa. to town and you were like, I'm doing that's the heavy. drugs. I'm experimenting sexually. I'm doing it fucking all, bro. Whoa, that's heavy, dude. That's like what Tom Hardy says. He was like, he's because someone asked him, like, have you ever had like experiences? He was like, I've lived in Hollywood long enough. What do you think? Hmm. Venom. This, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna, yeah. say I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna respond to that. All I'm gonna say is I'm sober now. <laughs> I'm sober now, a couple of years almost. You know, I feel great. Yeah, I'm almost <laughs> I'm 52 years old. I know what I want. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna say this, dude. You know, let bygones be bygones, dude. I'm not judging you. Yeah, I feel like you are, dog. I'm not at all, dude. And I don't like the attack. I dog. wouldn't come on here if I yeah, was judging yeah, you. Yeah, I and mean, so it's like, Bobby, I'm not judging you. I mean, you can come here and flex all you want, dog. You know what I mean? You but, asked him. I know. I don't know that what I'm doing. That was weird. I don't know what I'm doing right, right. now. Dude. I'm Do scared. You I'm scared. I'm scared. Do you think I'm gay? I'm scared. I got scared. I got scared. And so I just, 
I'm hey, man, sorry, George. Don't I'm be, so, don't be answering my question honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and can I also, by the way, just factually, right? I knew that there was only Atlanta was Georgia, and that was the only Atlanta, okay? Yeah. yeah. I'm not that dumb. Okay. <laughs> All right, it was a joke. <laughs> my point is, my point being is, yeah, I don't even want but to talk about But to your point, I mean, there are a couple of Georgias in the world. Yes. So maybe you thought, you know what I mean? Like Panama City. There's Florida, and then there's Panama, Panama. There's Georgia, and then there's Eastern Europe, Georgia. Thank you. You know what? I, I'm here to support you. Give me your hand. Yeah. I love it. I How love did it. I become the enemy in this? <laughs> oh, another one? How did I become I Wait, that guy? Wait, Bobby, Paris, Texas. Oh, that's true. There's a Paris in there's Texas. There's a Paris, Kentucky. There oh. is? Yeah. Oh, fuck me, man. There's a London, Kentucky. <laughs> Seriously, fuck me. No, <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> Redemption, the Asian woman. I just relapsed. Yeah. Bobby's yeah. like, man, I just relapsed. Yeah. So uh, the London, Ohio. <laughs> Gary, 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 Gary. Um, do you have do you have a podcast? Yeah, I do. What's it called? Get some. Is Ooh, it really? I like the name mm -hmm. of that. Like yeah. And you do it every week. Yeah. Yeah. And you got do it. On, well, what is it? What's the format of it? Well, I we used I used to come into L.A. and do it. Mm. And I had guests. And then since I moved to Houston, once the divorce became final, because when you go through divorce, man, those lawyers try to get a piece of everything. Mm. So they was like, my lawyer was like, why don't you stop the podcast? Oh. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Just stop. And so I was like, all right. And then we, so we just brought it back. So now that I, it's back, I don't really have guests. I just go and talk. Mm. Awesome. I did have Ali Sadiq on. Oh, so funny. But he lives in Houston. So. Yeah, amazing guest. Wait, are you allowed to promote the film? Yeah, I can promote the film. I can get okay, Crystal on the do phone. That. If you want. Yeah, would love that. Look at all the people you've had. You've had. Yeah, I've had Kevin, Tiffany. Wow, Marla. dude. I've had Joe. Joe, wow. And I've that, had every black person in Hollywood. Is that Bill? Oh. Is yeah. Bill? Wait, wait, wait. Let me ask you no. something. Let me ask you something. I want, I want to do it. Oh, Russell. You can do it. We could, we'd have to zoom in. Like, no, no, I'm going to come to Houston. Houston. If I'm in Please. Houston, can I do it? Yeah. I would love to do it. You would love it. We got we got all kinds of brown guys. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you bring the squad. <laughs> that's, good. that's good. Many people th remind, they go, you look like. You Jason. look like a kid in Time Out. No, dude. You don't and Jason like Momoa. That's true. That's uh, true, dude. God, dude. I see it. You Thank you. Yeah. Do, hey, really? do the hey, really quick. Show them the Jason Momoa face. Look. Now look at Bobby's face. Now look at Bobby's face. <laughs> okay, I see it. 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 <laughs> All right, now pull up Troy Aikman. <laughs> pull up Troy Aikman. Yeah, Troy, Troy Aikman. Dude, the guy from Power looks like you. No, Tommy I, and me definitely look like uh, Yeah. No. Oh, maybe yes. that one. That one right there. Go to the guy, Tommy from Power. We got in a fight on stage. Whoa. Wow. Really? Yeah, it was fake, but people thought it was real. And we, it looked like I was fighting myself. This dude looks like him. Yes. Go to, go to, yeah, go yeah, to yeah. type in like Gary Owen fights Tommy. And uh, I don't know where you learned how to spell. I don't know. Is it? <laughs> is it? No, that's from my special. Like we, we got into it on stage and people thought it was real. Like we really sold it. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm on stage, and then he came on the side. He goes, hey, Gary, stop talking shit. Because I was like, everybody's saying I look like Tom. And people don't know, I don't listen for the part. You know? I don't listen for the part, and I can't, I can't have the seat. That was at the Toyota Center. How many seats? 30,000. Holy wow. shit. I mean, 50 Cent was on the show, too, but I think I was. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he was? Wow. You guys are really Same cool. body type. Wow. Everything's fine. <laughs> 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 Don't step on that. Know, Don't step careful. on that. Move your thing. I'm sorry. Yeah. I ought to. That scared me. <laughs> <laughs> what a great fight. <laughs> Go. Where are you going? Huh? We could do it afterwards. Yeah, it's okay. We won't step on it. We won't step on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. What did Chris say? Do you want me to call him? Make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me put on speaker. Put speak. I don't know him. <laughs> you don't never met Chris. <laughs> no, no. Gilbert, I, don't pull it off. I don't know. Have to. <laughs> don't take that on. Oh my God. Yeah. I see it. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm on Bobby Lee's podcast. Sit by the mic. Yeah, tell him thanks. No, he wants. He no, wants wait, to make sure we can promote the movie. Chris. Yeah. He didn't hey, give believe me. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. I he didn't believe me. Here. Chris. Yes, Bobby Lee. How are you? I am great. Do you, who yeah, do you? We have a SAG, we have a SAG waiver. <laughs> no, let's talk about uh, do you love me or no? 
I mean, I would love you if you would have invited me to come do the fucking show. <laughs> no, well, you're on the list. You're on the show. Chris, list. I'm I'm more it's too late popular. I've been saying that for five years. <laughs> <laughs> So we're we're okay to we're okay to promote the movie. I'm gonna do Ken Chung's Jaguar Belly. (laughs) (laughs) Ken Chung's Jaguar Jaguar Belly. (laughs) It's a really good podcast. Anyway, Chris, we can promote the movie. That's yes, absolutely. Okay, we're gonna do it. You're very handsome, very talented. But I need this shit to come out. When is this podcast gonna come out? In two weeks. Before this <laughs> movie comes out Friday, it does. I, I know, I know. We don't air, put them out until Mondays. No. What? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesdays? Yeah. What's it? What's day today? Tuesday. Tuesday. Fuck, dude. We'll try. We'll try. We'll try. We'll try. It'd be great. If All right, anyway, second day we still gonna make it. I gotta go now. Yeah. I gotta go I'll call you back, Chris. Uh, uh, fuck, I'm about to go do Margaret Cho's Puma Belly. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta make all those. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> so, fuck, so fucking funny. Yeah. I, I, how many times have I told you well, Chris Spencer poster. and then you guys now do it? Now this is the kind of shit I get. Yeah, there's the poster. That looks fun. Looks dude. so fun. Oh my God. So we, we shot that almost two years ago in Vegas. And uh, oh he, I love it because Chris hired all comedians. What? And then Wes. Yeah, of Wes is really fun. And then Kevin Hart's in it. <laughs> Tight tech. Kevin Hart's in it, but he, he, uh, he's like a surprise. Oh, I see. Oh. Like, we probably shouldn't say that on here. No, no, no. But they, 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 they put him on one of the trailers. So oh, I was like, yeah. okay, so you can say he's on. Wow. Good congratulations, dude. Congrats. That's Thanks. Exciting. That sounds. Oh, back, back on, on the, the strip. strip. Back on the strip. Yeah. Yeah. And, August eighteenth. And Spencer directed it. He spent the first movie. Wow. So I had a. It's crazy because I had a, I had my reality show on BET back in two thousand sixteen. Uh huh. And. He, uh, I brought him on as a, it's crazy. So here's the crazy part. Yeah. So I brought Chris on as a writer for half the season and I brought David Arnold the second half. Oh. Cause I had, I had, I had, I, we were filming for like six weeks. So Chris came for the first two or three and then the studio was like, we, we need somebody else. I mean, you don't need writers for reality show. We need somebody to lead people on a little bit mm. to know you. And they kept trying to pitch me other people. And I said, no, 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 no. I said, I want David. And my reasoning was David helped me get started in stand up. So I was like, this was my like chance to kind of pay it back, pay it forward a little bit. So we got him on the show, which was great. So we got to hang out for like three weeks at the house. But the first episode of that reality show, Chris pitches me this movie in 2016. And my first episode was me like trying to get in shape, practicing my <laughs> stripper moves and shit. Yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then he calls me back and two years ago, 2012, five years later, he goes, hey, the movie got greenlit. I go, shut the fuck up. Wow. So he goes, so I got it. Oh, you know, he's one of those guys, he says what he means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not, there's no bullshit with him. Yeah. Funny guy. I've always loved him. Chris no, Buster. he's, he's he, like, just to call him, he'll tag your shit so fast. So fast. And also, Man. you know, when um, um, David passed away, yeah, he was on it. He was the guy that everyone would call and go, what's going on, and this and that. I mean, that was his guy, though. I know. That was his guy. What a devastating I don't want to end that. Uh, well, I guess we'll end with death. <laughs> no, no. It's, it's over. But here's hysterical. I, I'll tell you when I got excited for you. What about you? No, for you. I like it. So <laughs> we, you get to LA, and this is before Mad TV. Fuck yeah. And I'm in, I'm in Chicago. I'm, I'm headlining, but I'm not really moving a lot of tickets. But I'm, I'm doing the clubs, and they're papering a little bit, right? Yeah. I'm in Chicago, and in the morning I'm getting ready to do press. I look up at this big-ass fucking billboard, <laughs> and it's you in an astronaut outfit. With some other guy. It was like some ad or commercial. IBM. IBM. And I went, holy fuck, that's Bobby Lee. And the guy goes, who's that? I go, dude, I used to open mic with him. <laughs> really? From San Diego. Wow, and I go, wow. he's in a fucking astronaut wow. outfit. And I was like, I was so happy. Yeah. I was yeah. so happy. I was like, oh, fuck, he got something. Yeah. Yeah. That was and it was similar, like, when we, we were in San Diego, the mainstream nights, I'd be hanging out with you and stuff. When I would do the black rooms, you know, I was always with Nick Cannon. Really? Nick was always doing the black shit. You got excited. From San Diego? Yeah, yeah, he San lived Diego. There? Yeah, he started in San Diego. I didn't know. Yeah, he was wow. in a rap group called the Bomb Squad. And then he, I got, it's crazy. So I got, I was one of like these final comedians, Magic Johnson had that talk show, The Magic Hour. Mm. And they were looking at me to be the co-host. They went up going with Craig Shoemaker. But, I like I, yeah, but I remember I was at, at my house in San Diego 
And Nick came with his manager at the time, and I'm editing this VHS tape to give the magic of like my highlights. I got no highlights. It's all like <laughs> open El Toritos here and a bit at the comedy store. Yeah. It's, it's awful. And and I remember Nick was he was in my living room, and I was like, Yeah, Magic Johnson, man. I think he wants to see me. And I remember Nick goes, I think I might do stand up. I was like, You should. You should. <laughs> you know? yeah, 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 yeah. And then who knew? Same how with me and Ali Wong. She was a journalist in San Francisco. And I, she was interviewing me for the movie Kicking It Old School. Oh, I did yeah, with Jamie Kennedy. Yeah, Remember that? Right. Yeah. And then um, she goes, I'm thinking about doing stand up. I go, You should. And okay. I got. I don't want to story top your alley. Oh, yeah, well, I can. Oh, I could one up you too. All right. I got one too in the barrel. So you go ahead. All right. I'm going to tell you my alley Wong story. Oh, you have an alley Wong story? Yeah. Go ahead. So she opened for me when I did the punchline in San Francisco. Mm. And then me and Shaq had a TV show in 2012. And I told her, I was like, I don't know, but everyone I always say is going to blow up is going to blow up. And I said, you're going to blow up. Ooh. I said, I don't know how, and I don't know when, but it's going to happen. Fucking told her. 2012. So that was you. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so funny because. She can, ask, she can, she can validate can say, it. Uh, well, can I say this? Yeah. She wrote a book. <laughs> I'm in it. You're not. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I'll just say this. <laughs> yeah. Shang Wang Ooh. took my heat. Whoa. Yeah. He's great. Yeah. Great guy. Yeah. Fuck. What does that even mean? Took your heat. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? I don't know. Yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go with the conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, pretty good. Yeah. Who was the other guy with you? Eric Kirchberger. <laughs> Where's he at? I don't know. That's a really cool poster, actually. That's, that's pretty cool. Now, Bobby's like on the that moon. Frame. They were just sitting there. How'd you get that? I auditioned for it. How did you just stand there? <laughs> in an astronaut? <laughs> you, did you come in like floating? <laughs> no, 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 hey! no. It was, no, because back then it's like. Uh, wait, wait, you're in the book with Ellie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She, like a little paragraph. She gave you credit? Yeah, yeah a little credit. Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah, some yeah. Asian camaraderie shit. <laughs> oh, really? Give the oh, white really? dude you the fuck? credit. Ask her. I will ask her. Next time you see I her, will. ask her. Give Gary Owen. Z. Is it plural? No, there's no S. It's right <laughs> fucking there. <laughs> oh. Black famous. Give Gary Owen a round of applause, everybody. Hey, Gary. There's my schedule. Gary, that's your schedule. Check it out. Keep going. Yeah. It don't stop. <laughs> Just yeah, keep yeah, going. Yeah. Whoa. Holy shit. Yeah. It's a lot. LA, October 27th, Microsoft. Microsoft. Love San Jose Improv. I just played it like four months ago. Yeah. Love it. I'm going to film there. I'm okay. going to film my next episode. Okay. I like that theater. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Congratulations, man. I'm doing it myself. It's not like I'm fucking. <laughs> uh, all right. I got a Netflix special. Yeah. You got Netflix? You don't got any special? Nothing. Anyway, let's move on. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>